Imagine you could travel back in time, back across 150 million years, to a time long before the Yu-Gi-Oh! metagame even existed. As you'd go through time, you'd notice that the cards would change. Some would not even be designed yet. I think, with a little bit of time magic, we just might be able to see what prehistoric Yu-Gi-Oh! looked like. Welcome to the late Jurassic, 150 million years ago. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh life has not yet come into existence, but in this Yu-Gi-Oh meta scene, we are in a world that is ruled by dinosaurs. So in this period, the late Jurassic, even the plant type monsters that are out here are completely different and older than what we see in the modern Yu-Gi-Oh meta scene. Think about it. Dandelion, glow up bulb, all these famous well-known plant type flowering monsters have not been designed yet. We are in a world that is dominated by gigantic conifers, cycads, pines. And these plants are what can sustain the massive, enormous dinosaurs that roam this Yugi landscape. Like that one over there. It's, it's a Reproducus. Oh man. This is one of the more common herbivores of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Jurassic period. Just look at it. It's a gentle giant, uses that long neck to reach the tops of the trees, to browse effortlessly. <laughs> oh man, it is just gorgeous. He does not have a care in the world. Once you reach a size like that, there are... about his day. It's a Stegocyber. This is one of the iconic Yu-Gi-Oh monsters of the late Jurassic period. You can see it's a heavily armored dinosaur type monster. It's got a high defense with all those back plates and back spikes. We do not want to get too close. They're not the brightest of species, but when they're forced to attack and defend themselves, it can be quite a dangerous Yu-Gi-Oh monster. So we're gonna keep on moving and see what other amazing species we can find out here. So what's amazing about this period in Yu-Gi-Oh's history is that a lot of famous dinosaur type monsters have not been designed yet. Think about your normal dinosaur deck. You have your ultimate conductor Tyranno, soul eating oviraptor, miscellaneous saurus, baby ceratops. None of these dinosaur type monsters have been designed yet. They are further down in the Cretaceous period. Right now though, we already saw a Stegocyber, we've seen a Reproducus. I think if we move around, we may even be lucky and see some of our carnivorous types of Yu-Gi-Oh dinosaurs. I know that in this era, we can run into stuff like Gillosaurus, maybe even a Urabi if we're lucky. Very fast and agile predators in the late Jurassic. Let's move. downwind so you can see it's a Urabi up there it's not gonna be able to pick up our scent 
But we have to keep our voice down. They've got a very acute sense of hearing, good sense of smell, and one of the fastest species of Yu-Gi-Oh dinosaurs. We can't outrun it, but we can admire it from a distance. And before it notices us, let's uh, move away from this area. I'd like to get back to our time in one piece. Up here at elevation as well, you have all these updrafts that are blowing constantly, giving great air currents for pterosaur Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, flying reptile types to soar across this incredible landscape. I think I can make up way in the distance some black terrors, but it's kind of hard to make them out from here. I think we may even, ooh, look, look, look. Lampharynchus. Wow. This is just truly incredible. <sighs> just another day in the Yu-Gi-Oh Jurassic period. This is one of the swiftest predators during this time period in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Can easily move at swift speeds. A lot faster than I can run. It's our only best his guest. He's hoping that this wind, being downwind, will help mask our scent. Then it moves on and finds better prey. Too close for comfort. Life in the Yu-Gi-Oh meta will never get this big. It's a brachion. I cannot. With a 3,000 defense stat, it is incredible. It is a wall of flesh, and it is such a huge monster. What an incredible journey through the late Jurassic period of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. But I think before we uh, talk a little bit about some real life Yu-Gi-Oh wilderness knowledge, um, we get back to a time period where we are not on the dinner menu. That's much better. Now, it's time for some real-life Yu-Gi-Oh! wilderness knowledge. We just experienced the Yu-Gi-Oh! meta scene 150 million years ago. But now, it's time to learn about the real thing. We're here at Dinosaur National Monument in Utah. And it's one of the best places on planet Earth to learn about the late Jurassic period. We experienced so many different species of dinosaurs. And many of them are based on dinosaurs that you can find right here in Utah during the late Jurassic period. For example, one of the fierce predators that we were out running, that Gillosaurus, we kind of based it off of the Allosaurus. 
This was the most common large predator of the late Jurassic period, which was able to roam around the land and it hunted various species of dinosaurs from Stegosaurus to our mighty sauropods. These are our long necked herbivores that grew to be the largest animals to ever roam the earth. Quite incredible to think about how small we are compared to these enormous giants. Kinda glad we didn't have to outrun this guy earlier today. Allosaurus was a very swift predator. We already mentioned it was able to take on large prey like the sauropods and stegosaurus. But also looking at the skull, it's incredible how perfectly adapted this predator was at taking down dinosaurs. It has serrated teeth that I used to slice into its prey. It actually could open its jaw almost at a 90 degree angle. That is a huge jawline that can open up and use those ferocious teeth. Quite incredible. And better that it's behind glass so we don't have to worry about it getting too close and potentially hurting ourselves. Dinosaur National Monument is famous for its wall of bones. It is one of the most densest and diverse fossil quarries in the entire world and has over 13 documented species that have been found throughout the monument, 11 of which have been found in this wall. It's quite incredible to see. And looking at all these 1,500 fossils, it's not hard to see why this place is so special. Now, the real question is, how did all of these bones end up here? Well, 150 million years ago, this was a flat floodplain. It would experience seasonal periods of drought and rain. During the dry periods, the river would dry up and many dinosaurs would die due to lack of food and water. And when the flood waters returned, it would push the bodies downstream and bury them in sediment leaving us now a massive sandstone slab of dinosaur fossils. But that's going to do it for us today. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wilderness. I'm out of here.